Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe. Today I'll be showing you how to make this adorable little mini bee design. This is my original design and I actually do have another bee video on my channel. Um, that is for um, a regular size like Tsum Tsum, mini Tsum Tsum bee. Um, so go check that out if you want to make a bigger bee. This is really small. It's smaller than the size of my palm. Um, but it is so cute and so adorable. And yeah, so this is what I'm going to be showing you how to make today's video. So let's just hop, uh, I mean, yeah, let's just get right into it. So what you're going to be needing to make this little cutie, you're going to need some stuffing obviously you're not going to need this much but you are going to need some stuffing um if you don't have stuffing you can use cotton balls tissues toilet paper rubber bands but i the rubber bands would probably be a waste you can use t-shirt clippings you can use yarn clippings um so yeah those are other options of stuffing that you can use i'm just using polyfill today so yeah um, you're going to be needing your hook. I'm using a Rainbow Loom brand middle hook. Um, so, yeah. You're going to be needing um, a C-clip, only one. And you're obviously going to need your band. So I'm just going to be using yellow, black, and white for the wings. These are all Rainbow Loom brand. I'll put that link in the description for all the bands and everything that I'm using. Um, and um, yeah. So now we can start making the, the wings. We're going to start off making the wings. So you're just going to grab your white or if you have clear bands you can also use those. Um, I just actually ran um, out of them because I like using them for when I'm when I'm doing my hair and stuff. So, yeah. But we're going to start off with a magic ring of six stitches for the wings. So one. So I'm just going to show you briefly how to make it. And if you don't know how to make um, magic ring, then you can go check out my Lumi Grimmie 101 video. I teach you how to do all of the basic stitches, including a magic ring. <laughs> so let's make a magic ring. So you're going to take a band, wrap it around your hook twice. That is your cap band. Take another band, pull it through, and reclaim on your hook. Now you're going to make a slip knot. Then you're going to go back in to the capping band, grab another band, pull through, reclaim, and you're going to take the first band and pull it through these two stitches, just like that. Go back in, another band, pull through, reclaim through and you're just going to keep doing that until you have six stitches all the way around including the one on your hook now I have a magic ring of six stitches I'm just going to grab my um, my stitch marker or C-clip and put it on the band around my hook just like that and for the next row we're gonna be doing I'm just gonna be telling you what to do into every stitch um, we're basically doing like different um, <sighs> different kind of stitch into each stitch so you're gonna start off by doing an increase which is two single crochets into one single stitch and it just looks like what I just did now we're going to be doing a decrease, so take the front band of the stitch and the back band of the next stitch. Take a band and then pull it through. Now we're going to be doing two increases, so two single crochets into two different stitches. That was one, two, next stitch, one, back in, 
two. And now we're going to be doing a decrease. So just grab the front band of your next stitch and the back band of your other stitch and pull through just like that. You can just remove your C-clip, go into that same stitch that we just made a decrease on and pull through like you're making a slip knot and pull tight. That is our tying off band. Now I'm going to go into the stitch next to it and pull another tying off band through it so that we can attach it to the body once we're ready. Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast, um, but yeah. So now you can just put this to the side. I'm going to make one more off camera. You can just rewind the video and make one more if you didn't catch on to everything I just said. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have finished the wings. Now I'm going to make the eyes. So grab two black bands and grab two yellow bands. And you're just going to take one black band, wrap it around your hook once, and then take everything and wrap it around again, just like that. And then you can just take a yellow band and just slide it on to your hook. And you can like slowly pull them over if you don't want to pull it all over at once. So just like that. It just say it like on the band by itself. And I'm just going to put that to the side with our wings. Again, wrap around once. Take everything, wrap around one more time. And then take a band and slide it on and then it should just stay on the band on its own just like that so put those on the side um the last thing that we're going to be making is the little tail um not too special but i did make a tail um that actually will be at the end though because there's a certain way that i attached it so we're gonna save that for the end. So now we're just gonna start off with the body. So you're just gonna take a little bit of yellow. I don't exactly know the band count, but it'll be in the description box once this video is posted. And take out some black too, because you're gonna be doing some stripes with the black. We're only going to be doing three stripes total, so don't worry about wasting too much black. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So we're going to start off with a magic ring of six stitches, and you're going to need your C-clip, so get that ready. So um, I'm not going to show you to make a, ma make a magic ring, but um, I said this already before in the video. Go check out my magic ring tutorial, Lumi Groomy 101 video because I don't really want to have to explain how to make the magic ring but um, you can just kind of see me do it so just make a magic ring of six stitches pull through I guess I'll kind of explain it back in reclaim pull through back in and remember six stitches all the way around pull through reclaim pull through nah <sighs> not really thorough but Okay, that was four, five stitches back in, six. So now I'm just going to grab my C-clip, and now what we're going to be doing for the next row is an increase around, sorry. So just two single crochets into that single stitch. So I'll show you one more time. Back, go into the stitch, pull through on your hook, pull through, back in, do the same thing. Reclaim, pull through. So that is an increase. You need to be doing those all the way around. Try for the background noise. Back in. Sorry for all the weird shadows. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay. So just 
do increases all the way around. Pretty simple. Next stitch. And last stitch. So again, just an increase. And oops, I'm not gonna count my stitches, but you should have 12 stitches all the way around. And I'm just gonna move my C-clip up to the band that's all around my hook, just like that. So, this is kind of our face. Um, I'm gonna add my stitches, my, I mean, I'm gonna add my eyes after the next row. And I'm pretty sure the next row is just gonna be a row of yellow. So just do single crochets all the way around with yellow. And a single crochet just looks like this. You're gonna pull a band, you're gonna go into the stitch, pull a band through, reclaim on your hook, and then pull through. And just do that all the way around. And sorry if I'm going a little bit fast. Um, this is, um, I'm just gonna say this. Um, if you are a beginner and you can, if you want to try doing this, um, you can, but, um, I do go a little bit quickly, so you might have to pause the video a lot, and please don't get mad at me in the comments for going so quickly. Um, I try to go quickly for the people that are a little bit better at Loomy Groomy, and I also try to explain how to do stuff, but, I don't know, today I'm just not in the mood for explaining stuff, so... But now I'm just going to grab a, a yellow band, pull through everything on my hook, including the bin, including the one that has the C-clip, and I'm just going to do a slip knot. And I'm going to not pull it too tight, but tight enough so that I can tie on the eyes. So this is pretty simple. You're just going to go in through a stitch and pull the eye through. And then go in through another place on the face, the place and face. <laughs> um, and then you're just gonna tie them together in a slip knot. And just like that, you have a little eye. So I'm just gonna do that one more time on the other side. Go in with your hook, grab your eye, and then. Go in again and just tie those slip knot. I think it started raining, so I'm just gonna come back in a second if it did. Hold on. Sorry guys, it hasn't been raining in a while. So I just wanted to see if it was raining or not. I'm just gonna zoom back in. Um but yeah, you should have your little face on your bee. You can add a little smile if you want. Um, I'm just not going to because that's what I did for this one. I didn't add the little smile and I like how it looks. So, but also on this one that I'm going to be showing you to make, I am going to put the wings a little bit closer together just because I don't like how they look on this one. So, keep that in mind if you do want to put your wings, um, not where I put mine. But now you can just undo that little slip knot that we did. And hopefully it's loose enough for you just to kind of pull it undone. If not, you can grab, um like a little needle um like a toothpick or a needle and just undo that if you tied it too tight um now we're going to be doing a row of black so we're going to be doing a slip stitch um and a slip stitch is just pulling through that stitch that you went into and the band on your hook and you're going to be like it's kind of like um a slip knot except you're just going to be doing it loose just like that and then you're just going to do black single crochets all the way around and I'm using the color really or like extra black from Rainbow Loom so sorry if my black is a little bit more glossy than normal so yeah <laughs> but it really hasn't rained in a while so I'm just grateful for the rain because there's been some bad fires and hopefully the rain will put them out because it's supposed to rain all week, so it's good. 
but just keep single crocheting all the way around until you get back oops until you get back to the last band I mean the last sink the last stitch around your hook and I, I'm sorry I've got my C clip stuck on the wrong stitch all right so now I'm just gonna move my C clip up to the banner on my hook and now I'm gonna give you I'm going to go back to using yellow, so we're doing another slip stitch. Take a yellow band, pull it through that stitch, and the band around your hook. And just slip knot. Belt loose. Do a loose snip knot. And you're just going to be doing single crochets all the way around. I don't know if you can hear the rain or not, but I, um, sorry if you can, I guess, because I don't know if you want to be hearing rain in the background. So... Yeah. Um, also, my next tutorial will be a collab with Girl. She does have a YouTube channel and a TikTok, so go follow her on YouTube and TikTok. They are both Um, So, yeah. And I'm very sorry if I, you are getting very annoyed for me saying so yeah all the time. I don't know why I do that. I just do. So I'm just going to move my C-clip up, or my stitch marker, whatever you're using, and it should look like this. Um, now we're going to go back to another black row. We're doing another slip stitch. So again, pull it through that first stitch, and then the band around your hook, and just loose slip knot. And then you can just go into doing another row of single crochets. And if you don't, if you want to just skip this part of me saying like do a slip knot and single crochets and everything, then you can just fast forward this. Um, I'm just showing you that I'm every row that I'm switching colors and staying on camera for this because some people like for um, me to explain every little detail. So hopefully this is sort of helpful for you guys. And yeah. I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible and easy enough so everyone can understand it. Okay, so now you can kind of see that we have some stripes going on. It looks good. Um, if you want, you can do one more row of yellow and then just start decreasing it. But I'm going to be adding one more row of black after my yellow. Because I kind of like it with the three stripes. Make it, it makes it um, a little bit bigger. Um, and that's just the way I made it. So I'm going to be showing you the way I made it. So, I don't know if I have enough yellow to finish this row. I might. I'm going to have to grab some more yellow probably in the middle of the row, but that's fine. So, you're going to do a slip stitch again, and then a row of single crochets with yellow, or whatever color you're using. I just, I personally like using the regular B colors, so, but, I mean, there's several trends going around, like strawberry B, strawberry cow, you know, all that, um, all that stuff. So you can totally do that too. And if you do have Instagram, then like follow me. Um, my account on Instagram is Chloe Looms Official, all lowercase, and it's just all one word, no underscores, no periods. I'm gonna have to grab some more yellow. So sorry for the crunching. But if you do make my design and you know, post it, tag me so that I can see it. And I do give shout outs to people that po repost or to that post um, their, their, um, yeah, their creation that they make with, made from my videos. So, yeah. Now we're going to do one more row of black. So just do that slip stitch. And single crochets all the way around. 
Remember, if I'm going too fast for you at any time during the video, then please pause and catch up. <laughs> so. I think the rain stopped, so maybe, I don't know if you could ever hear the background noise or not, but the rain did stop. I don't really know how I thought of making this little bee design, but I did, um, like, there's, like, a little backstory behind it. So, I keep getting comments on my bee, other, like, original bee video saying, oh my god, you're going too fast. Can you please slow down? I'm a beginner and it's too hard for me to follow. So, I was thinking, like, I could just make remake that video. And I did put a comment on that video saying that I was going to remake it and whatnot. Um... But I just decided maybe I'll make a mini bee instead because maybe they need a little something smaller to make for beginners. Um, so, yeah. But now for the next row, I'm actually not going to do anything for the next row just yet. But I'm going to grab a band. I don't really care what color. But I'm just going to slip knot this off because I am going to add the wings. So just slip knot it not too tight tight enough so that it won't come undone and then this is what it should look like right now super cute and I'm just gonna grab my wings and I'm gonna put them together so they like look like that on the bee or you can do it whatever way you want but I'm gonna be doing them like that so I'm just gonna start with one wing I just like putting it on my fingers and I go in Find the spot that I want to put it, and I'm just going to try putting it in. Oops. There. Now I'm just going to pull it tight and see if I like the positioning on this. I'm going to move that over. Um, I might end up doing the rest of the attaching off camera after this wing because I don't really want you to see me do this for like and struggle for like a whole like five minutes. So I'm just gonna probably attach this wing and then do the rest off camera. So I'm just gonna put one ring right right there, and I'm gonna probably gonna put one more like right there. So, and then to knot it on, to tie it on, you're just going to double knot it, like we regularly knot. Oh no, oh crap. Don't get your band stuck in your C-clip. <laughs> but, you're just going to knot it like a regular knot, and you're just going to do that again. So double knot it. Just like that. I think I just tuck the bands inside. And you won't even see those um, bands at the end because, I mean, it's going to be stuffed and no one's going to see the inside. So, I am going to attach the other ring off camera just so that it doesn't take me forever to do. Um, and you can just pause the video and attach the other wing. Okay, I have finished the wings. Looks pretty good now. And now we're going to be starting to decrease. So again, take a toothpick or just unslip knot that slip knot that we did so that you could tie on the wings. And you're not going to be needing any more black, so I'm just going to put that away. And you're going to be needing some more yellow. I don't know how much exactly. I'm just going to grab probably not that much, but you probably won't need this much. Um, but that's just how much I grabbed. Um, so now we're going to be doing a slip stitch. So pull your band through that first stitch and the band around your hook and just do slip knot, loose, slip knot. And now we're going to be doing, um, that was our first stitch. So now we're going to be doing a decrease. So decrease is just taking the front half of the band and the back half of the next band and decreasing those to make it smaller and start to close it up. So next stitch is a single crochet. And now another decrease. Front stitch and going to the back of the next stitch and stitch those together. 
Um, and you're just gonna be doing a single crochet and then decrease all the way around. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Single crochet. I decrease. So take the front of their first stitch, and then next stitch, take the back, and stitch those together. Another single crochet. And now I decrease. And now I'm going to move my C clip up. Oops, sorry. My C clip is stuck again. This has happened too many times today. So, oh, I just dropped it. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Well, I'll just grab another one. Sorry. Keep losing things. Okay, so, <laughs> hopefully you didn't drop your C-clip, but I just did, so I grabbed another one. Um, now you're going to grab your stuffing. Hold on, I'll grab it. And you're not going to need all of this, obviously. This bee is very tiny. But just start taking little chunks. Kind of just shoving them in. You won't need that much. This is very, it's it's not very band heavy at all. Um, this is actually a requested video. Um, there's this person that commented on my video, make some tutorials that don't take as many bands. And my most popular tutorial is also like the B. And I know that one takes a lot of bands. So this is just one that takes way less. And it's also still as just as cute as that B that I made. Um, so yeah. But now we're going to be doing decreases all the way around and then we're just going to tie it off. So remember, take the front stitch in the back stitch of two different stitches and just slip knots and just um, stitch those together. And do that all the way around. Oops. And remember, I know we're almost done, but just pause the video if you're having trouble following along. So now I'm just going to go in randomly here, and I'm going to pull a band through that stitch and the band around my hook, and just slip knot it off nice and tight. And the bee looks so cute. You don't have to add a tail if you don't want to, but I'm going to show you to add the tail in a moment. So, we slip knot it off, make sure it's fully tight, don't break the band, um, or try not to. And I'm just going to go into the bottom of my bee and go through and just tuck that band in so it doesn't show. Because that would be kind of ugly if it showed. But, look, it doesn't show. Nice and clean looking. So now you are gonna need some. You're gonna need three things of black to finish this off. So just three bands of black. But take two. I'm just putting them on my finger. I'm just going in like right here. Pull it through. Just make our chain. And then I'm taking one more black and just slip knotting it, just like that, and pulling tight. Now, that does stick out, but there's something that we're going to do to fix that. We're just going to wrap it around that little chain we made a bunch of times until it doesn't look like it's noticeable anymore or stick out. Oops. And you can pull the bands a little bit tighter than you normally We'll just make sure not to try to like break it so that we make a little stinger. So that is the stinger. And that is it for the bee. 
B looks so much cuter than I thought it would look. Well, I already know that it was cute. I'm just, but yeah, that's it for the B. And this does look quite different from the first one I made. Um, it looks way better in my opinion. I don't like the weird wings, how far apart they are. Um, and the stinger also looks a little bit tighter. Um, but um, you can, again, move, put the wings wherever you want. You can add a little, like, a little smile. You can add onto the face if you want. You can add eyebrows, um, whatever you want. But this is just what I did, and I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, remember to like this video and subscribe and comment below what you want to see next. Um, I hope this helps you guys that don't have as many bands as I do, because I just got a bunch of new more bands, and if you don't have as many bands, then this is perfect for you. So, yeah, I hope you like this tutorial, and remember to tag me on your Instagram if you do post a picture of this, or any of my de designs. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!